Dear Princess Celestia, Yo, everybody! Happy anniversary! Six years of My Little Pony! Season 4, of course. Yes, uh, at this time today, six years ago, MLP graced itself on the hub, and I've wasted about five and a half years of my life since. So, hello, everybody, and welcome to The Brony Show, episode something or other, 236! <laughs> and, oh, crap. <laughs> I did not make any announcements or posts or anything. I, I actually completely spaced, oh, I spaced all of that. I feel, uh, I feel kind of stupid yeah. now. I don't I think any- say, damn, I will say, damn, it's been forever since I've seen, since I've seen one of those, uh, what is that, when I'm whatever videos? Well, that, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to do a whole lot uh, when it comes to the sixth anniversary, but, um, so I figured let's, let's uh, play an old favorite, which, which is one of those. Yay. Uh, sounds fun. Yeah. Oh man, I feel terrible because we're we're going to be playing Sulfur Nimbus, uh, the be an open beta. Well, not open beta, but an op uh, basically a beta version of the game, and we were going to be talking about it. I was going to announce it all over, and now I forgot it. So now I'm going to have to uh, do an extra heavy push to try to get the archive up because I'm trying to help. I want to help out this guy. He's he's an awesome guy. The game is pretty fun from what mm -hmm. I tested so far. Blah blah blah. Oh, so, man, I got, man, definitely got a Steam announcement there. Yeah, I just put, I just threw it up there. So yeah, we got the right, Steam right. announcement. I, I goofed. I royally goofed, and I forgot to get the announcements out. Oh it man, happens. it happens. I am. Hey. It, it may happen, but I am just having a weird. Uh, I'm having a weird day of it today. I, I'll tell you right off the bat. But let, let's. You uh, didn't go to work. You wanted to go to work, make money. You couldn't go to work, so you spent the day sleeping. Am I about right? Silent. Why were you not here? <laughs> Actually, I always wanted to see if I could do that. Or well, bring people in. Yeah, literally. And I just dragged you in here. <laughs> Get over here! Get over here! <laughs> uh, oh yeah, I just realized Circuit never changed his name in the in the OA in the OA group. <laughs> I, you, wait, I thought you were full, that's why I didn't join in. Oh. Island, we need more people. I didn't even know I my name was changed in there. What? Uh, yeah, they do that from time to time, people with power. Right. Okay, no, well, okay. No, we um, <laughs> well, in any case, we're pretty scatterbrained here at the moment, so let's go ahead, start up as we normally will, with um, a few quick uh, announcements here. This Right now, right off the bat... Spoilers. This is a very big topic. We got to hit right here, right now. We are not talking about anything that's happened with the show that has not officially aired in the United States until the Monday after. That is our official stance at this point. Episode 24 does not exist to us. 25, 26, we don't have a clue. Nothing that has not happened until Friday. Please respect that in the chats, in the chat rooms, and everything. Basically, so, unless you are in the spoiler area. If you want, if you're in the spoiler area, feel nuts. That feel nuts. Yeah, go nuts and feel nuts. Whatever feels, but whatever works for you. Still, still, don't be a douche and just go don't short telling two episodes from now. Yes, yeah, so the the I fact is that we st some people are holding out for the seat for it because we well actually I was gonna say originally it's because we don't know how long the season seven hiatus will be. But we'll get into that in a little bit. Man. We're holding out because we don't want our hiatus to start two weeks in advance. We want to ride this out until the end. 
Well, I'm not. <laughs> No, no, no. But we'll, we'll we'll get into that in just a moment here. So that it, right now, I just want to get that right off the bat before anything else. Do not spoil. No spoilers. No spoilers. Uh, happy sixth anniversary of MLP being a thing. Yep, it is it's sixth anniversary. I am excited for it. I'm happy for it. I honestly wish I could do something about it. Anything. Unfortunately, I'm also right now literally. I, I'm going completely crazy right now, so it's not possible for me to do anything other than acknowledge it and try to watch episodes on my own leisure because I want to enjoy it at my leisure, of course. Yeah, it's not like we can do uh, like a... the week on the drawing. Celebration hmm. of the sixth year. Yay! Actually, you know what? There is something I can do now that I think about it. There is one little thing I've been having fun with. Uh, I do go to some image boards here and there, and I, we've been posting a little bit about old nostalgic videos that, from uh, way back in po in the uh, Brony years. So, you know what? I'm going to go ahead, and here I have the thread right there, and I'm putting it in our chat rooms right now. Yeah. I will also put it in our little group here. But I have been posting it in this image board here, and we have been talking about the um, re the most recent, uh, well, not recent, but basically old MLP stuff. So if you guys want a, little, a touch of nostalgia, maybe see some videos that came out way long time ago that you didn't know about, or comics, art, little fun things like that, it it's in there. It's in there. We've been po I've been keeping the thread alive for oh, about a week and a half now. And it's got some crazy stuff that I even forgot about, so... Oh, Circuit. Oh, Circuit. It reminded me of a video that you're going to make me torture people with on Saturday now. <laughs> you see, that's exactly what I was shooting for. Damn it, Su Damn it Circuit. Why? <laughs> it, uh, we no, it's love been, you, it's boss, but why? Why do you give him ammo? Uh, it's, it's more fun that way. Since, it's been far too long since we've had Pinkie Pie barking at the bookshelf. Circuit, oh, yeah! <laughs> I remember that! <laughs> Circuit, I had to save myself from poisoning... Closing myself from last night. Oh, how's that? What? Oh, it's fine. I I actually found a hangover cure. Oh wait, you mean literally? <laughs> literally? Yes, I. Yeah, I was close to alcohol poisoning from making a drinking game over the um debates. Oh, Dude, man. no, no, you never, <laughs> you never drinking game the debates. Why would you ever do that? That... At least do it so that you know you're gonna be sober because you just go. Hillary's gonna say something mean about Donald Trump. No, no, not, hey, no. Any... No, it wasn't insults. It was. It was just basically topics that you that somehow would be brought up, but you don't that you don't think of will be brought up that much. No, th that's the problem. Okay, you know what? Let's go ahead. Ju we, if we're going to go talking into this, we might as well start off with the right topic here. So, what's up, bronies? Tokoy almost killed himself. No, wait. <laughs> I, I did not. It's silent. My that voice was silent. Is His voice is deep. Actually, I Get just have... things right. Actually, at this point, I, I find it a game just to mess with both of you with that. This may just be the newest in joke. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> silent almost killed himself. Now, the one thing I know about any drinking game when it involves politics, it's either an all or nothing. There's no such thing as one where you take a few shots because of something silly. You come up with a rule, there's a good chance that either they're going to harp on it for the next hour, or they're never going to talk about it. Oh, no, I had... It was something about either Hillary's emails get brought up. Yes, that's it! You don't... Do the you don't do the emails. You don't do the wall. They will go. You will go forever. Well, at least I didn't make it that I waterfall each insult that happens. <laughs> Fair enough. But I'm glad well, you're still alive and with us. I shouldn't have chose rum as the um drink of choice. No rum. No, you should not. You and just you... for for the insult to injury, I do not drink because of my alcoholic father. Thank you, Father, for being the town drunk and showing me why I never drink. Okay, uh, quick and chat. Awesome, Brony. East Coast, you want to go to PonyCon New York and Bro BronyCon, because it's BronyCon. Moving on. <laughs> uh, is there a Georgia MLP event, or is that... There was supposed to be one, like, a couple of years ago. It didn't get... it didn't happen. Ah. Uh, uh, hmm. I have a job and... now. How much do you... how much do you are the, um, tickets? Uh, for what? BronyCon. Oh, uh, about 60 to 70, depending. 
Wow. No, then I will be able to... No, that's, that's reasonable, because when Minwith's Minecraft was a thing, rip that con, that con was awesome, uh, all weekend was about 55 bucks for Actually, three days. Yeah, 60 70 is completely reasonable, especially for an all-weekend pass. Especially yeah. since the fact that BronyCon is in a big area, they got tons of events, tons of panels. It is huge. Yeah, yeah let, me, let me put it th let me put it this way: as far as cons go, I I pay about I paid about sixty five to get my to basically go four days for Anime Week in Atlanta this year. That was that was uh, yeah, and that was also getting my badge mailed to me. Now, <laughs> if I were to do the same thing for Dragon Con. That's about a hundred and fifty dollars. But wow. then again, how big is Dragon Con compared uh, to everything else? Uh, Dragon Con is at least a hundred thousand people in four hotels in the middle of downtown Atlanta. No, no, no! You got to say this uh, right, Suki. It's mythological proportions. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. To my knowledge, Dragon Con is only contested by Comic Cons. What what is, is, well, yeah. What well, is Dragon, Dragon Con, Con is one of the is is pretty much one of the oldest convent oldest general geek culture conventions in the U.S. Now, I'm Outside that. of the Comic Cons, pretty much. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to. I'm other than that. That's there's Brony Con and then then there's Evo. That's the only things that I really want to go to. Hmm. Mm. Well, one is you're, one, you're in Washington, so just take a train to Brony Con. <laughs> yeah, I'm South. just going. It's uh, I think it's like three hours from Mar from my part of Maryland to Baltimore. So I could just probably rent an R, go rent an RV and just use that. Yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, let's go ahead and uh, get moving on here real fast because obviously we don't want we don't want to. Well, not obviously because you know you guys have awesome stories, but we do need to get moving on here so we can continue on. So. Who else has a uh, what's up, Brony? Mm -hmm. eh, I'm still in my born life, and I'm happy for it. Mm. But my birthday's coming up at the end of the week. Ooh. Oh, so Toakoi's so got a birthday end of the week. You know what that means? <laughs> Everybody <laughs> sent him horrible, horrible stuff that he's going to have to try to explain to his parents. Well, I'm yeah, do that, and I'll just... Into do a Ben pile and be gone with it. Besides, my mom already knows I like ponies. Who said anything about well, ponies? Well, no, nah, I'm going to your house and just giving you your birthday licks. Your 23 birthday licks, man. Licks? Uh, yeah, remember, disgusting. licks are different because they can be beatings or they can be tongue. Either case, I don't think you're winning. It, it's the first one. Yay! Oh, okay. Uh, give him a licking and uh, the and brain starts ticking. Moving on. Oh, oh no! I'm going by I'm going by I'm going by job core terms. I'm going full I'm going full in fight going full in fighting. <laughs> hmm. All right. Also, well, the uh, problem of going from Maryland to Kansas is hmm. a big thing. Okay. Uh, all right. So, does anybody else have uh, any other what's up, Brony, that they want to bring up? Well, since Toko said that he has a birthday coming up this weekend, I might as well show up or let you all know that I am now 23, as of a few weeks ago. Nice. And as of which, I got myself a brand new iPhone 5S. For my so, yeah, now I'm talking through my new 5S. Ah, yes. so, there's, Sorry. so there's three people that's the same age in this. Oh God! <laughs> hey, don't feel too bad. That's a good sign. At least you're not you're not old as dirt me. I feel old, so. Oh, and when... wait, Circuit isn't Suki older than you? I don't uh, think so, actually. Yeah, I think I might have him beat somewhere. Uh, <laughs> let me see, uh, Circuit. I'm February eighty-seven. Uh, yeah, no, he's not. Not even by a long shot. <laughs> I got a, I got a few years ahead of him. Ah. Well, now that this old timer has regaled you with old story. Oh, <laughs> damn it! Now I feel old. And there was one more thing that I wanted to mention. Uh, you remember our great friend Punk Gamer? He uh, is doing a special cooperation project with the uh, Toon Cricket Y2K for voice acting characters. So, mm. big heads up. 
try to look up for him. Nice. Oh, yeah. All right. So, uh, but before uh, we start to bring up the uh, the painful subject of my age, uh, anybody else have any other what's up, Brony? <laughs> I'm just say, trying to think if there is anything really to talk about there. Wait, wait. Well, I guess there was the anime con that I went to, and then we didn't have a show last week, so I didn't really talk about it. But, um, yeah. I, I mean, that was fun. Um, let's see, for this last weekend, uh, let's see, uh, uh, I really, I really got, got not much else. Um, pretty much, we pretty much found. Well, I guess King's Quest came out, but I hadn't had a chance to play that because I'm going to play it this week for our Let's Play. But mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. wow, really, I, I really had the stress to even think of anything for this week because after the after the con, I just want at the con, I basically just got, I just got pretty much back to work, and it was catch catch up and get not be behind anymore. Nah. Also, I, Snicky, I you feeling. didn't put the show notes in uh, chat. I did yeah, that on purpose. <laughs> okay. I'm, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be right back. Uh, I am really not on the ball today. Yeah. No yeah worries. By the way, I'll probably step away here in just, in just a minute myself as well. But uh, yeah, that's just because uh, I've almost got dinner ready here. <laughs> All right. Well, in uh, any case, um, as for what's up, Bernie, with me, there's really not much to go on with um, other than the fact that, yeah, last week I was sick. I felt better the next day. Though it took a little while to completely recover, sadly. And also, along with that, um, bederp. <laughs> along with that bederp. Sorry, my brain just uh, completely exploded there. I don't know at why. Least you're, at least you're feeling better now. Oh, no, That's I'm feeling good. Yeah. But, no, uh, yeah, um, uh, blah, blah. <laughs> Yeah, next week. Next week, uh, there is. I'm actually going to be going to an anime convention next week myself, Anime Bonsai. Unfortunately, that means that the season finale will not be showing on the Brony Show stream because me and Blink both will be going there. So there will be nobody to stream it. So for anybody who is interested in watching the finale, please uh, make sure you turn into the Otaku Ascended because, well, we, we, we um, simulcast off of them anyway. Yeah. And in the meantime, we'll probably be trying to find our way to finagle into watching it somehow, other than you. Well, no, we'll probably end up YouTubing it or something. <laughs> yeah, I so, mean, it's. Yeah. I mean, pretty much it's out there. The only thing that sucks about it is that. Ah, you know, uh, the old okay, me. Which, yes, I have. <laughs> which, yes, <laughs> I have watched the. I have watched the finale. Basically, the only reason I did that was because I pretty much went with the with the mindset of. You know what? It's gonna be a couple of weeks before it airs it here, and it's gonna and it's gonna be one of those things where I'd rather not I'd rather not worry about spoilers, like myself having to having to like avoid them for that long. I have only seen thumbnails, and it makes me go, oh. I don't know. I've just been kind of in and out when it comes to the spoilers, but I'm still trying my best to avoid them. Though, granted, it, it, I admit it's gonna be a hell of a lost cause, but. Yeah. So that's yeah. So pretty much, I just I just went ahead and watched it. The only thing that sucks is that the only versions I could find were 480p. There was no 1080s. Yeah, I'm not too surprised by that, considering where they're coming from across the pond. And the fact that the episode we have tonight probably would never ever be aired because cider. No, no, that's <laughs> that's actually that is confirmed. That's exactly why this ep yeah the episode that they aired this weekend here in America is pretty much not in the British air airing order. Mm. <laughs> now, here's the question. Do you know which episode we're watching tonight? Oh, that's right. We have two weeks back. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, that's right. Yeah. So, well, so stroke my beard. <laughs> so technically, tonight, we'd probably be watching Pony Pony View. Yep, you got it. Yay. We All normally right. double up whenever you miss stuff. Normally, yes, but I wanted. To, uh, uh, there is a special case with um, what we're going to be talking about today with um, Sulfur Knight. There, it was actually I was emailed by the creator himself, who is trying to get some press out for this while the Kickstarter is still going. So, I figured I would do my best to give him a full good showing and let everybody really get a look at this and see how awesome it really is. All right, creature, I know you're editing this. 
Uh, Make sure that the gameplay segment is the first one uploaded. Everything else can be pushed back later. Gameplay first. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, I might make it a little easier on him too there, but we'll we'll figure it out as we go. Anyway, moving on. Uh, does anybody else have any other uh, what's up, Brony, real fast uh, before we go ahead and get into two weeks worth of news? All right. Well, like like I said, I got food. I'll be right back. All cake. right. <laughs> I love cake. Cake is good. I make cake for everybody. All right. Well, let's go ahead and get started with um, the latest news, starting off with um, this. Oh. Uh, Wait, that doesn't look right. Why do you have Play Pony up? Because I grabbed the wrong window there. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, this isn't just a joke oh, image. Oh, trust me, there's more lewd versions. <laughs> Actually, it's around. just a joke image. It's just a joke image. But the reason I'm bringing it up is, one, I just happened to run across it somewhere. I have no idea why or where. Two, it's just uh, we Pinky, Pinkie Pie Day was apparently this week, or last week, actually. Yeah, World <laughs> Smile Day. Yeah, World Smile Day. So, uh, yeah. yeah. So, World Smile Day happened. So, yeah, That's we're just letting that. people know about that. Now that we got that out of the way, moving on to actual news. Starting off, um, well, we might as well go, uh, this is actually a little bit down the line, but I'm going to go ahead and shout it out real fast here. We have confirmation of a Season 7. Season 7 season is seven. going to happen. It has been officially confirmed up and down. Not only that, this is the surprising part, which is I'm excited for. Season 7 will begin in spring. Ooh, so, yeah. sometime around the 21st of March, maybe later, maybe earlier. Yeah, it could be the it could be May for all I know, but the fact is it's in spring instead of next fall, I'm a little bit more excited for. Sounds yeah, like I think the year hiatus kind of opened the eyes to, yeah, we gotta at least keep like three to four months between seasons. And half mm -hmm. season breaks are good, just don't do a Gravity Falls. No, oh, no they're, well, who do you think they are, Disney? <laughs> they are distributed by Disney in several countries. I know, but technically Disney is not the one creating it. I know. So, in any case, so, yes, spring uh, 2017, we will have season 7 of Ponies. So we, got, we can enjoy the last few episodes here in the United States. And then the hiatus begins. Though, granted, it's not like the last last um, bad hiatuses, like season 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4... Uh, those when the ones you didn't even know if there was going to be another season afterwards. That was those were fun. Season three <laughs> was actually a little bit easier with the Questioner Girls, but it had the sea of uneasiness of is it going to be decent? Is it going to be horrible? Please don't let it be horrible. By and the way, let it be the main season. See all the movies. In any case, you got you uh, gave me a nice little segue there. Equestria Girls also is going to have three planned specials now oh what does that mean they oh they didn't exactly say movies they said specials that could <laughs> be movies it could be direct to dvd movies or direct to dvd flicks it could be an actual episode of mlp size thing which is equestria girls i don't know but there's going to be three of them <laughs> Not to mention the MLP movie that's supposed to come out in 2017 as well. Yeah, they actually got an official countdown timer for that now. Wow. A big old billboard mm. with uh, with uh, My Little Pony movie counting down on it. It's like, oh boy. Now, is this one forever free or no? No, no, no. This, this is, is the is actual MLP. MLP. Not Equestria Girls. It's the actual wow. MLP movie, uh, though. I am I'm holding with bated breath that it doesn't end up like the Power Rangers movie or pretty much anything that's gotten oh Hollywood. Oh my gosh! Yeah, have you seen First the off, I saw the TV trailer for Power Rangers. It is not bad. It looks a little bit like Twilight, but we have at least one thing going for us. At Pacific Rim Fest, if they cannot match that, then they fail as a Power Rangers movie. <laughs> Well, hey, they're never going to be able to top the first one that they had with Ivan Ood. It's awesome. I'm just Hey, saying. that is a guilty pleasure nowadays. That is literally <laughs> just a guilty pleasure because it is stupid, it is 90s, it is awesome for all the wrong ways. It is awesome, and I'm glad I have a copy of it. I am so happy. 
And then Tebow came around, and everyone was kind of like, why is there a kid in Power Rangers? Super Sentai never had that. <laughs> I point to Tommy's White Ranger form and say, that was a kid in your face. Uh, personally, I'm just terrified to heck after I saw the preview, and uh, it just it doesn't feel like Power Rangers. It looks like, here are five teenagers that suddenly get mysterious powers after they're complete outcasts from high school, and now they have to, now they're going to save the world. It, it, it just it feels so hackneyed. So well, it's I the found... Breakfast Club with powers? Yeah. Yes! That's exactly actually, that is right. kind of what the trailer gave. But here's the thing. They actually do have attitude as opposed to the originals, which were wouldn't be a model citizen like me. They did not have <laughs> attitude. They were pixel perfect and could no, could do no wrong. I don't know. I'm oh, just, no, I'm just paranoid to hell. The moment I even saw the trailer, I, I, I just... It just feels right. And then the when they start near the end, when they started getting the suits on, it looked like freaking Venom symbiote is coming on. It's like the Power Ranger powers are actually a horrible alien symbiote that's actually going to give you great power, but make you question who you are. It's like no. Hey, no, Cynthia, no, let's not no, forget not. they may the they may look like Iron Man suits now. Here's the, here's what it said whenever the suits were revealed. They are a bio alien tech. Are they supposed to look like spandex? Yes or no? <laughs> no, the moment yeah. you said bio-alien tech, that whole Venom thing is still rearing its ugly head in my head. Well, I'm yes, probably going to get in I trouble am... for this. I'm probably yeah. going to get in trouble for saying this, but I wish they had picked someone other than Zach Afron to be Jason, to be honest. Zach, I can't argue with I don't think that's Zach. It I'm looked sorry. a lot like Zach. Who the fuck is Zach Afron? The guy that I'm... played Troy off High School Musicals. Kill him. Uh, <laughs> you know, you know, Zach Efron is actually a good actor and a good singer, but he is not in Power Rangers. These are all people that are unknowns. All right. They're probably all right. Like I don't one or two bits. Oh, oh, if it's Zach Efron, I still don't want. I still don't want to be reminded of that fucking that fucking movie. I'm okay, sorry, well let, let's go. Let's go ahead and him. let's go. Ahead, we're kind of gotten off rails here, so sorry. Power Rangers movie, take it or leave it. But let's go <laughs> ahead, get back into ponies because. Pony. That, but yes, uh, season three it has already happened several years ago. Season seven, on the other hand, is going to be coming up next spring. So that is something to look forward to. So, uh, I'm still stuck in the, doing podcasting for another year, apparently. Oh, well. Okay, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> well, would you rather just be sitting in front of a TV doing nothing but watching TV? No, I, I already, if it, if things ever happened, I'd actually, um, I'd, I've actually debated on a few things that I would end up doing if I ever had to stop the Brony show itself. <laughs> Probably well, said... But you it, could it, conv convert yeah. the Brony show to something else. Well, I would probably do it more of a of a YouTube kind of deal with a, 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 an actual commentary and stuff, and you know, not as um, newsy and movie and video. Yeah, it would definitely be condensed a hell of a lot for one thing. <laughs> anyway, moving on, uh, Gameloft has released a Crystal Empire update for the My Little Pony Android mm -hmm. and iPhone game. Of course, this has, I don't believe this has rolled out to Amazon yet, um, because I have Amazon, and I don't have the ability to go to Chris, the Crystal Kingdom yet. Oh, that did not feel good. Moving on. Mm -hmm. um, have you tried it on Windows 10? Uh, no, I, the, I like the Amazon altogether, just because I don't have to pay for those freaking gems. Yeah. But in any case, it looks like in order to, um, un you actually have to unlock the Crystal Empire, which requires you to collect snow globes. 150, apparently. Well, kind of like, kind of like New Vegas in 4. I have no idea. <laughs> but, no, I remember Fallout New Vegas, so snow globes all throughout New Vegas. I never played New Vegas, so I honestly don't have any idea. <laughs> wow, apparently King Somber can actually be a character in your town, too. Jeez, what the hell? Wow. Yeah. So, this yeah. is not the reform King Sombra from, from the Crystal Empire Strikes Back. Nope, this is still wicked old King Sombra. Well, yeah, you of course. You read that. Any case, um, they, we were... Uh, apparently, somebody over at Equestria Daily was nice enough to get the um, crystals one way or another. Crystals! In one way or another. <laughs> 
So you, there's um, a few interesting little screenshots that you can see of the Crystal Empire, including a crystallized Luna. Uh, apparently, a lot of the ponies there do have that weird, that crystal refraction that you see. Uh, ow! You can kind of see it right there. And Shining Armor is even there with flying crystallies. I think every pony that's ever there got, turns into a crystal, which is pretty awesome, really. I'll give him that. That yeah, does see? look pretty awesome. Yeah, that's always been a neat design for the crystal ponies, and a good way to tell a difference between, like, Earth ponies and them. Is have we really ever seen natural, like, unicorn or pegasi crystal ponies, and not just characters that are, like, the main six or uh, royals? Yeah, before the actual crystalling and, like. I'm pretty sure there is, I just don't know. I have never really thought of it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think there are in, like, the first episode. Like, the episode where it's shown, there w it's in the background, but I'm I gotta go mm -hmm. through it since I have the episode on my hard drive. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I think it would be the Crystal Empire, the episode, parts one and two. Yeah, I'll go through it later. <laughs> I have nothing but to do since Payday is updating. Yeah. All right. Well, moving on. Let's let's go ahead and move right along here. There is right. still quite a bit to talk. Yeah, Chrissy has some huge eyes at times. It's amazing. <laughs> moving on. The sorry, I just noticed the chat room here. Okay, but yes. Uh, now, for those of you who enjoy uh, motor vehicles and ponies, <laughs> Winchester, we no, call you, upon you. You may laugh at this, but honestly, I would give so much to have this car. Oh my god. <laughs> Behold. Yeah, but wow. the New York Comic Con duh, had apparently a sweet customized car that was there. Of course, it was <laughs> to <laughs> celebrate. An awesome wrapping that they need to sell. It oh, would. That was, bro. Uh, they, somebody that needs bro. to do something, but that, it would Stop. be so awesome to Are have this car. Start going into Asbro. Start going you into sell this rap, You'll make more money than you would ever believe. Mm. Even, but, yeah. You know, it would be funny soon as soon as I just ushered out our mouth. Hasbro starts a new um. Yeah. Anyway, moving on. Um, as <laughs> as I mentioned, this was uh, premiered over at the New York Comic Con. Unfortunately, I yeah. Th well, it was to promote Guardians of Harmony, uh, and I would so much love to get this car if ever. <laughs> but Italian, that is just sad. You know what? Now I kind of want. I want a NASCAR version of this. Oh God! Ooh, that, oh, would, that be would be awesome. That would be fun. Yeah. Anyway, oh, what, what is Texelian? face kind of thing it's let's see for. knowing yeah. some of the people who live near me they'd probably throw rocks at it yeah uh, <laughs> unfortunately I can see people throwing rocks at cars like that it really sucks it really does mm -hmm. but yeah it's a Chevy uh. <laughs> hey that uh, just means it's a powerful thing not and in my cousin's near my cousin's street I'll probably see that on bricks <laughs> All right, well, we're going to go ahead and throw this out now. Um, though this is actually, oddly enough, considering that we're celebrating six years today, this is oddly reminiscent of a previous thing we've talked about several years ago. Oh, gosh. Fluttershy's Cottage in Lego form. This is not. This is over at the Legos, uh, Lego Ideas site, which what? is basically a place that people can post uh, ideas for Legos. And see if they can get the people at Lego to approve it. But you also I don't think there's going to be much competition because I think Creons are no longer a thing that Hasbro is doing. So this has a possibility to kind of be like, hey, Hasbro. Well, it's to do this. It's entirely possible. It's possible, but oh wow, it do the site doesn't even exist anymore. I I think they may have already shut it down. <laughs> Other than that, yeah, you all they have to also get the say so from Hasbro. Well, that's part of it, but I'm just tr I'm trying again here. Yeah, it's giving me a 404. Give me a quick second. I want to I'm going to see if by some chances. It's mm -hmm. cuz I see this 
see how this goes. It's kind of be like how Lambo gave Lego the um permission to make a mo- like a scale model out of Legos of like the, some of their Porsches. Yeah. And it's a, and what I saw, it's a it's an expensive as shit model, going for a grand for just fucking Legos. But it's yeah, real, it's real detail. Okay. Anyway, yeah, it's already been officially taken down. <laughs> Pretty much. As you it. have taken down the website. <laughs> no, though the the page itself for um, Lego ponies has already been taken down. So, not surprising. Kind of sad, but not surprising. I thought it was kind of a cool cool thing to see it being posted again, and it's already taken down in less than a day. Uh, mm, I think they're just trying to not have deal with kerfuffles. Yeah, mm-hmm. they're trying to cover their asses. Well, it's a legally <laughs> thing, yeah. Mm. Okay, well, moving on. The Trixie book has finally gotten a new title. For those of you who don't know, <laughs> this is a Trixie um, well, book. Bri Jam Borrow, like the bunch of other ones. Um, Trixie and the Razzle Dazzle Ruse. Wow. Unfortunately, try saying try saying that three times as fast. Mm, Trixie and the Razzle Dazzle Ruse. Trixie and the Razzle Dazzle Ruse. Trixie and the Razzle Dazzle Ruse. Booyah! (laughs) Yeah, but the thing is, that fucking sounds like a tongue twister, though. It does, kind of, but it doesn't. Not even a little. But in any case, March 7th is now the um, com- release date for this book, and that's all we have of it. A title. <laughs> we have a title. Trixie's Razzle Dazzle Ruse. Now, who's ready for a new Build-A-Bear that we probably would have never seen coming? <laughs> oh, hi, Minty. We love your socks. Minty. Did you have to spoil it already? <laughs> Dude, this is the... Uh... This was our mascot before Dappy, of course. Fair enough. No, well, it wasn't. Okay, unfortunately, um, it looks, for some odd reason, the image link that I have here for this is not working, so I'm just going to have to bring up the Equestria Daily page here. So, yeah, Minty it has apparently been posted as one of the newer pony uh, Build-A-Bears to come out. And, of course, Minty is mostly famous for the fact that um, because of Minty... Pony socks is a thing now. <laughs> oh wait, no, there we go. I can I could do this a little bit. Ding 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 ding. <laughs> so yes. Minty Minty is a reason what that pony socks became a thing because she was one of the few season three th- um generation, generation three things that we were just we just had fun with. I don't I don't know why though. <laughs> uh, because she thought- she was in a blind minty. bag, and we were like, "What the heck is this?" No, I don't. Oh, this is Minty. No, I think it's she more than that. Socks. I think it's more than that. Suki, do you have any ideas? Um, well, I mean, to be perfectly honest, Min- the Minty movie is kind of one of the least horrible things out of Gen Three. Touche. Yeah. Mm. So because, yeah, yeah, Minty, Mint- the pony <laughs> that refused to stay in Generation Three. I'll give him credit, at and, least. Yeah. Well, technically, Rainbow Dash was Generation 3. And so was Sweetie Belle. And Pinkie and Pie. And And Pinkie Pie. Actually, Sweetie Belle, Sweetie Belle got born of rainbow sex later. <laughs> <laughs> wow. But, uh, but you, you think, think I'm joking? Yeah, you think, it, yeah, you think I'm joking? That, that's no. In in oh, MLP oh, lore, yeah, it, it, well, I'm calling it MLP lore. Sweetie Belle was born when two rainbows basically fucked. <laughs> oh, Touche. I, 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 we know what not, happened not. with the Gen Four. Oh, and Charlie. Su- Suki. Charlie. Uh, that's, that's the explanation of that's the explanation on Pony Burst for all of them in general. Yeah. There well, must be two rainbows having intercourse. Well, I'm just gonna go ahead and post this up for to terrify people. <laughs> oh, Circuit, would you get the um super twi- the super princess Twilight at Builder Bear? Oh, I I see the minty comparison. Yeah, O three uh, was better than O five. Dear God. Oh, oh God. God. <laughs> I, but it, I, but it was oh God. Better. 
I need I need a hit from this bong real quick. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, like thank you, Alex. I'm right. the quote for the past. Oh, as Wait. he's the exact same thing, January twenty fifth of twenty fourteen. Okay, one, I'm pretty sure he's joking. If not, two, what the fuck? Have you been literally categor cate uh, cataloging, like, everything that's been said? Uh, Wait, not all, but just funny things. Hey, LSKM14, give us a slick thing. Preferably okay. in the D-pad era. Tell Clay just shut up. <laughs> okay, moving on. We're going to go ahead and move right, on before something sa to... gets said. No, I have, to, I have to put this out there. The right one looks like a work of Cthulhu. Um, for, yeah, I'll give you that. We'll go ahead with that. Now, who's ready for a pony kind of Christmas? Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, too bad. We're doing this. More Christmas up until the end of November. Well, in this case, we'll go ahead and make an exception because a physical audio CD of a, It's a Pony Kind of Christmas has officially been released on Amazon. So what? a physical disc... Of the uh, of the classic musical conundrums uh, being sung by ponies, including newer songs, of course, from the latest in the uh, Heartwarming Eve uh, song itinerary, <laughs> like, for lack of a better word, lack of a, okay. word, a better working word. Heartwarming Eve. Thank you, Fourteen. I am not repeating these, but it's D pad. So, and what a chat. You're welcome. This is making me just want to get off my ass for, for 12 years and just try and make it so I become president just to stop this shit or make it a limit on how, on the date that you can make Christmas related items for sale. <laughs> so I'm Fair enough. To get annoyed. Fair enough. But it, it, this is one of those things where I can understand it because shipping can sometimes take time and it would be nice to have this after a Halloween. But yeah, physical nice. CD. Go and get it. Moving on. Yeah, let's see. So, who's ready for a bunch of t-shirts? <laughs> Always. Alright, well, we're going to go ahead and start off with a... What the heck? What? Well, LSK, considering that I'm working on Persona 4 right now, since I got a new PS2 and found a copy of it, no, Persona 4 will never be old stuff for me. Hmm. Okay, I might have Who to... Who wants to talk about murder? Alright, I might have to... <laughs> Hold on, I, I actually... Um... Sorry, I'm, I'm having to fight my own system here a little bit because of this. I'm for... It's not liking T Public apparently. Whoops. New and... T-shirt? Yeah. And I unfortunately closed the quest three daily, which I didn't want to do. That. <laughs> Yay! Well, Damn. at least you know where to find it. It wouldn't be our show if if we didn't at least mess up some sooner or later. Yep. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to start showing off um, some MLP t-shirts here. Starting off with... You know, I'm going to go ahead and hide that real fast because I have a feeling that might be spoilerish and I don't want to know. Um, yeah, big spoiler. Oh, okay, yeah. everybody ignore that, please. <laughs> Like, like I'm talking last ten minutes of the finale. <laughs> spoiler. Yeah. Oh, for the love of really, really, they had to put that on a T-shirt. How the they're putting spoilers yeah. on T-shirts now? Hey, for the for the fans in the in in the UK, <laughs> it's not a spoiler. Hey, 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 Suki, read the chat. Huh? I wait. That was just earlier this year. <laughs> huh. I, I literally don't remember my own quotes. <laughs> Wait. The... Okay. All right. Let's let's um, stop with the quote mm. train and look at the awesome T-shirts, including Fluttershy oh. in the Fluttershy in a very compromising position. If you really think about it. You mean sexy shy? Um, or she's just being one with the forest. You could. It's weird that it's coming from me, but you could have your head, have your mind not in the gutter sometimes. No, I know, I know. It just looks like it just looks like she's hanging around on vines, and I love it. I actually love the fact that she's just hanging around on vines. I'm just having fun with the fact that it. I can imagine some people would take it into a wrong location. Now we also got Flutterbat. This doesn't help. 
uh, sir, not before we go to Flutterback, you mean like the position? It's something like um, what was that song with Fire the Target that was done recently? <laughs> huh? Now I'm trying to remember. It was this song that that some woman sung within like a few years ago. I'm trying to remember. It's uh, not Kesha. Well, I have no idea. So I'm gonna go ahead and show this instead. <laughs> <laughs> a, a tribute t-shirt to True Capitalist Radio. Oh my goodness. I wonder if Dr. Br I honestly wonder if Dr. Bristle is watching this cuz this is exactly up his alley right here. Wow. <laughs> well, no. Yeah. Wait, circus, who knows? Dr. Bristle may have made that shirt. <laughs> I don't doubt that. I I honestly that would, would not be, doubt that, but That would be awesome. Yeah. No, it's much higher quality than what he's capable of currently. I say currently cuz you never know. People can improve. Yes. So let's. Um, Sorry, here's other things. Uh, we've got MLP Sea Pony. Shooby Doo. <laughs> Shooby Doo. No. And now we got MLP Overwatch. <laughs> Widow or. Ponies Widow. never die. For a price. <laughs> hey, I got it right. Is it Fluttershy? No, no it's, it's, it, it's just. It, it's a pontification of. Uh, the, of the angel character. Mercy. <laughs> Mercy. I, 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 Mercy. Would, I would think I would think that Fluttershy would have been Carl's playing as Mercy. <laughs> and then we got the CC shit of Oh yeah. look, his waifu. All the sunset <laughs> shimmer images all in one go. Shimmer, shimmer. Alright, and of course uh, Gloriosa. Gotta have that. <laughs> Uh, the possibility of a crossover uh, between uh, Equestria Girls and MOP actually being a thing outside of just Twilight. Uh, <laughs> and I'm quickly grabbing a few more here, so please bear with me. Okay, yeah, I'm going to grab that one. Yeah, uh, and there is no reason to be salty. <laughs> Can we be By sweet? Way, Tokoi, oh, since, Tokoi, since the, Gore, since the Gloriosa shirt was on, was on screen, I thought you were going to say the uh, crossover between the MLP or Equestria Girls and Captain Planet. <laughs> no, because uh, that would be too easy, and also I would think Captain Plant would whoop her butt easily. But we, what do you get a want... woman? Wait, 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 wait. Which Captain Planet? <laughs> yeah, we that's talking, what Are we planet. talking the original Captain Planet, or are we talking Ted Turner? <laughs> Ted Turner, Ted Turner. <laughs> Ted Turner would whoop her butt. The original wouldn't actually hurt it. He would just try and get her into magic detox. <laughs> Oh my god, okay, you know what, I'm actually not going to show this one on stream, but I think this is one that, oh, how are these, how are these shirts be, oh my god. In, in the backstage. I, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll throw, yeah, but... I am gonna throw them in backstage, but this is something Suki, I'm sure, is gonna be more than happy to throw to some of his people. Uh, I mean, people oh my. I gotta this see is this. Not safe for work, and we have our deepest and humblest regrets for not showing it, but we don't want to be demonetized. Hi, YouTube. Demonetized? Hi, YouTube. What? We're, we're not even monetized now. <laughs> really? Doesn't yeah. Have that, the Brony Show doesn't have that many subscribers to actually monetize. No, that's not the problem. The problem is that half the stuff usually gets a copyright hit on it, so it's almost pointless. Ah. Uh, yeah, so... Eh. So, circuit. Wait, circuit. What is the shirt? Is hold on. Thrown it. Okay, hold on. I, I was gonna wait until I got to them, but give me a second here. I, I'm gonna dig through. There's a bunch of other shirts here. Enjoy some of the ones that I'm throwing up here at random, because there are some pretty awesome land. ones. If okay. The only, uh, the only people who has a who have a, out of our crew that have a possible of monetizing is Crimson. Oh, It's Crimson, uh, uh... Well, okay, Circuit, I'm gonna be perfectly honest, it's suggestive, but not, it's not really explicit, so... I, I, well, no, it's, it's not incredibly explicit, but you gotta admit, that's really okay, out okay, there. Okay, oh, okay, the second one, that's a, that's a one-man, that's a One Punch Man reference. Okay, okay. Yep. And, they, and, there, and there were shirts just like that being worn around Anime Week in Atlanta all, I, all the time. Yep. Yeah, I don't doubt that. I'm just, it's just, the, <laughs> the shirts, buying, uh, the shirts the just are a little bit, a little bit on the yeah. other side. This one, though, that's one not so much, but it is a little on the questionable. A little. 
Yeah, <laughs> number two definitely is questionable simply because Suki, you know that they just add like the opi a thing and the two little things on a plain t shirt. The two little an actual figure behind it, it kinda does make it suggestive and a little bit lewd. Eh, whatever. Well no, nah, isn't <laughs> Opa the Japanese term for breasts? Yes. Yes. Oh god. But it, it, like I said, it's a ref. It's it's. I believe it's supposed to be a reference to One Punch Man because I believe. Like, yeah. Somebody in the show wears a shirt. Uh, Side time I had that on during yeah. the uh, hero testing. Yeah, but honestly, honestly, Circuit, I think you can. Sh I honestly think you can show all three of those, no problem. Mm. Yeah, and that Trixie one just looks like a body pillow. Okay, yeah, I know. The, the Trixie one was one I was just a little on the fence. The other two, not a little more on the fence, but... Eh, I, I'm... Uh, I'm uh, I mean, honestly, that's that's incredible. Like, really, that's a very artistic piece, actually. Like, I'd like, oh, to, get, I'd like to get an actual print of the uh, Adagio one. You know what? Fair enough. I, I saw the mm -hmm. Fireteam... I saw Fireteam Harmony. I kind of want those helmets in Halo. Halo. You know you can uh, easily make them if you have a printer and just some... Um, um, like wood glue to reinforce it. No, I actually want them in game in Halo. So all right, like well, get, let me get through the rest of these shirts, and then I'll give out a little warning before we show out the rest in case people do happen to have a problem with those la the last few shirts. <laughs> oh look, it's a Twilight in my pocket. <laughs> I would love to have that. And now there's Portal Pinky. Personally, I would just like this for the Portal reference. Well, the Pinky and Portal. Circuit, Pinky would do that without the portal gun, and we would all go, how and why? Well, yeah, but no. it would be on are, a are you sure about that? At this point, we would just watch it and just let it happen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, yeah, you know, it's a, it's more of just don't... Okay. I kind of uh, don't mind. I kind of... I don't mind this. Actually, you know... Oh, no, wait. Uh... Yeah, this one doesn't quite pan out, does it? Now that I think about it. Uh, Diamond Dogs, you know, that's actually funny and a good Metal Gear reference. It's a, it's a good Metal Gear reference, but it doesn't reference the Pony Diamond Dogs, though. <laughs> I got, got the Drama Queen. <laughs> and also a pretty fun Warrior Shy one. Warriors. Warriors come out to play. <laughs> I really gotta play that PS2 game at some point. And By the, the way, they also did. It's good. They, all, they also did that Warriors thing in Luke Cage. Of course they did. <laughs> mm -hmm. And also the bad main day. All right, I now the next few. That. Now the next few T-shirts. We'll go ahead and show them. I am going to give fair warning, though, that some of you with a little bit more... Basically, if you can't handle anything that has the remote, remotest bit of um, sexiness to it, you probably don't want to look on the stream here for the next if few minutes. If you can't even handle suggestive, <laughs> one, you're a pussy, and two, two, just look away. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I'm not going to argue what it. I, I'm, not, I'm really not going to argue it. I kinda, I'm kind of in the same stance there. But Anyway, Stop first we got it. Trixie. Of course, uh, it's kind of a body pillow, Trixie. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I've, it, I guess that one of the other things is that I'm, I'm a, I'm a, you know, 12 year vet of anime cons, so this, this shit absolutely does not bother me. It doesn't bug me mm -hmm. all that much, really. And now we got Opai, which is a, a, a basically a knock on One Punch Man, but also we can <laughs> see that it does have uh, roots in uh, ponydom here a little bit. Honestly, if it was just more line on, it wouldn't really be that bad. Me, it's pushing it a bit, but I can connect one and two. And there's did I keep you waiting, Mr. Photographer? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like I said, I wouldn't I wouldn't want this on a shirt. I'd actually want like I'd want like a print or something or yeah, like that's something I could actually post print on. Over shirt. Well, if you, yeah. the, you apparently know, they got several different options, including a phone I, case, I notebook, this. laptop case, and a mug. You want a cup of coffee with your? <laughs> you want a cup of coffee no. with that? <laughs> Take off all the shirts and everything else is okay by me. <laughs> I, no, I just frame the shirt. Oh, you could I do just, that. Like, yeah, you could. You could I just do it like the jersey. Yeah, the funny thing about the Adagio here is there was actually several other um, versions of the other um, 
the the other dazzlings other than Adagio, she just apparently well, she was actually the most sultry. I'll just put it right out there. I'm not even going to deny that part. Yeah, she, <laughs> that had undertones of. But, honest, but honestly, thinking about their characters, it kind of fits Adagio really. Yes, it makes it makes perfect sense since sirens were meant to be sexy ladies. <laughs> yeah, actually, in all on, I'll go ahead and just throw the other two up here because, like I said, they're not. But they do have their own sultriness. Like uh, you got um, Hango, you got this one for um, Barg. Ar Aria. Thank you, yeah, Aria. Aria. And honestly, that is probably one that you could wear out in public and just be like, "Oh, that's a cute girl shirt." And yeah, just and you. also the one from Taco Queen Sonata. <laughs> Again. Uh, you know, just, yeah. Like I said, Adagio was the uh, Adagio was the only one that was really up there. The other ones just kind of have hints, <laughs> or hinting at it, but not as bad, or not pretty much outright. I probably just buy all three just to frame them. Hey, go for yeah. it! I wouldn't stop you. Hey, whatever floats your boat. Exactly. So, <laughs> who's ready for more plushies from Hallmark? Itty bitty pony plushies. Oh God. Oh, I can see someone totally just making these into, like, little hand puppets. Yeah. I was going to say, that's what the, exactly what they look like to me. They, <laughs> I guess depending on how big they are, they could be finger puppets. <laughs> so, or depending well, on how big you are. Well, Suki, you can buy those for the next for the next Talking Twilight toy that you do. <laughs> anyway, yep, these are coming out from uh, Hallmark, apparently. There's... No other information of the fact that they were shown off over at New York Comic Con, and they're expected sometime next year. If there's more than these four, we don't know yet. This is all we got. Right side is not just Twilight, Pinkie Pie, and Rainbow Dash. Yeah, <laughs> for once, it's not the marketable three. Speaking of marketable three, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> but this the, this was actually mentioned, and now we got co a full confirmation on it. The uh, Hot Topic Funko Power Pony Mystery Minis. Oh my what? god. <laughs> so yeah, Dude. some of them you got two different models for them, others you got only one, but basically it's the Power Ponies in an ep Power Ponies <laughs> episode figures. Okay, wait, this is the wait, this is the blind bag thing? Or the yep, blind this box is thing? The, the little blind boxes, yep. This is the next set to okay. come out. Yeah, because I was about to say, if these were bad, these were just bags. If you're like, gee, I wonder if I got Flutter Hulk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, though, Spike does look good. It's just he is not in humdrum. And honestly, I at least wanted, at least a variation with Spike, because he was the main focus of that episode. No. Mm, admittedly, that it. Here. It is kind of funny that Spike isn't in a humdrum outfit, but I do yeah. kind of like the fact that he holds the comic book at least. Mm -hmm. the, the humdrum variant is a super, super extra rare variant. Ooh, there we go. That could be it. Mm -hmm. any, any case, right now, it looks like some of these have actually already started to pop up over at some local game stops, and they'll be hot, showing up in Hot Topic as well, because that's who announced these, at least. No, I'm trying to remember the other figure, the other figures. But I kind of want, I kind of want the um figure these figures, but it's like a different pop figures. That's what I was thinking. I don't want the pop figures. Those things scare me. <laughs> I do, cause I kind of find them cute. Well, maybe that'll happen. Who knows? So and then there's the Power Pony sets that they originally came in. Okay, MLP issue 47 is due to be coming out soon. And, of course, this is to deal with the ongoing uh, mayoral race between uh, Mayor Mayor and Filthy Rich. <laughs> of course, uh, we do got a preview already. And, of course, uh, you can see them politicianing, politicking, and all th sorts of fun stuff. <laughs> of it's... course, I haven't read any of the comics, so I have no idea what the hell is going on. I could I could do a Hillary versus Trump thing, but I don't want to. No, they it's probably so. did something like that simply because they're like, all right, let's try and build off of what we know will happen and just make it least civil and smarter than what we have currently. But on a good note, th these issues are due to come out in about a week and some change, the 19th to be specific. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
So um, stay tuned for that. Personally, I kind of a, both covers are okay, but nothing I'd really write home about. So yeah. Yeah. yeah, the Flash I one's better simply because it's like, all right, stop where you are. The ladybug's crossing the street. <laughs> anyway, speaking of other comics, 50th issue of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic is going to be coming out soon. And two comic covers have already been announced for them. Of course, uh, you can see it right here. <laughs> Uh, Andy Price, you have been with us since the beginning, and your art is still awesome. Mm -hmm. I do like that variant cover. But yeah, yep. apparently the uh, the cover is actually going to be introducing a new logo to the comic series as well. It kind of reminds me of the movie logo they've been doing. That might be intentional. I can't mm. tell the difference. <laughs> I can't it, tell. Well, as long as the comics so stay good. I think it's slightly colored differently is what it is. Mm. Well, let's bring up another one of the uh, Friends Forever that has come out. And yeah, it's basically a color difference. You can see <laughs> that the um, current one is a little more pinkish. Ah, uh, yeah. They just desaturated it. Well, no, they purpled it. <laughs> okay. Well, they purpled it and they got some, like, loops uh, right below it. Anyway, moving on. Friends Forever 33 is also going to be coming out in two days. So Wednesday, this is also due to come out. And, of course, if you can't tell, this is a combination of Applejack and Cherry's Jubilee. So the two oh, texts. I don't remember. She's the one that ran the cherry farm that we had the I Love Lucy moment in. Yep. And that was a fun moment. Mm -hmm. later on at that same episode we also got um chimichurri chonga <laughs> big bell come quack come uh, the, just the fact that she keeps saying come quack come quack come quack okay that's enough of that and that you know what? Is how we have a very quality pinky anyway real fast issue 46 also was released of, of course this is obvious since 47 is due to be released in a couple of weeks but just letting you know in case you haven't caught up on it. Mm. But I don't. Um, oh. But I mean, oh, All right. Answer. Anyway, Legends of Equestria has also announced a few other things. Starting off with um, the latest update for Legends of Equestria is that the cut so pony socks are going to be uh, not only available but completely customizable. Okay. So you can cha uh, you can uh, polka dot them, stripe them, color them any way you want. Of course, it'll cost you money to color them, but uh, the fact that they're making them customizable socks is kind of fun. Will it cost real money? No, 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 just in game, but in game bits, and it's like ten bits, which is ridiculously cheap. Mm-hmm. Now, oh, long oh, yes, I must say I do like the back, the back derpy background. Oh yeah, it's I love it too. But um, for, now it comes to more fun news. Um, fun being an exaggerated word. They have really, they have also announced a staggered release schedule so that the game doesn't explode and they can also allow people to come in to the game as they need to. Unfortunately, I don't have any clue what in the world it is because for some reason I'm completely blocked off of the site citing that for some reason I made posts pertaining to Nazi ponies. <laughs> wow. No, the fa the bad thing is I'm not even logged into the site. It's apparently an IP block or some sort of region block or something. That is nuts. No, that's cr yeah, it's crazy. Unfortunately, I'm trying to reach out to him right now to see if there's anything I could do to get unblocked other than maybe try and spoof my IP address or change it. Do the you? That's what I meant by that. If it's IP block. I think IP block works by your router or by the device itself IP. Yeah, it might be. I don't I don't ultimately know. My only problem is there's a, there's nothing I can do about it at the moment. It, it Thank goodness your... we have CMC and his many many LOE moments. Yeah, so uh, yeah, hope, hopefully saying... we'll get some hopefully we'll get something figured out if I can't get in legitimately. I can assure you I have not done anything like this, but yeah, it's it's got me completely blocked at the moment. You weren't posting our damn it, what's the what's that OC's name? Pepe? No. 
I wasn't. I didn't ever even post it on their forums. It started. It started with an A. I never even posted on their forums. I've only ever had to log in just to be able to log in and get the game. Yeah. Yeah. There's. There's actually. There's been little to nothing else I've ever done with that. Well, try. Well, they're just nuts. Um, well, I, yeah. Circuit. I guess you could try and get in contact with the employees. Well, well that, one that's what he's trying. Yep. That's exactly what I'm trying to do. Unfortunately, it, it, I haven't gotten any response yet, but this was just a couple of days ago. Hmm. So it's being worked on. I'm doing what I can. I've actually tried other browsers too, just to make sure it wasn't a Chrome issue. It's not. It's weird. It's incredibly weird. It makes no sense. And yeah, somebody might have had my IP address and made some bad posts. I'm hoping I can do something to get that fixed. I'm reaching out to them, trying to do what I can. So, yeah, unfortunately, I don't have any other information on Legends of Equestria. Please check the show notes. Check it out. It's good stuff. I wish I could tell you more. I can't. Moving on, Pinkie Pie Day had some really awesome stuff. We're just going to quickly scroll through some of it and let you take a look at it for yourself because, unfortunately, we're running a little low on time. So... Wait, wait. Wait, wait. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Next, Speedy Bot. Those of you who don't know, somebody over in uni in a university of some sort, because I completely forgot half of everything, <laughs> is cur currently creating Sweetie Bot, and they have introduced the leg component for Sweetie Bot. Oh my god! You can see some of the uh, mechanics and constructions, all that fun stuff there. No. Oh, trust me, this is very impressive, and I am watching somebody build Ultron, a gunk droid, and built a Hulk Buster suit. Yeah, so, <laughs> Sweetie Bot is just going to be freaking awesome. And adorable. Yeah. I just wonder how much they're going to be making everyone pay to buy one of those. Uh, it's a custom thing, but with 3D printing becoming cheaper and cheaper, it'll be reasonable, probably around three, maybe five hundred bucks at most for customs. Oh, yeah. Anyway, Guardians of Harmony is also getting a few <laughs> new commercials out. Hey, look, Spike is writing himself. <laughs> oh, oh but, yeah, there, you can, see the, you can see the change in the logo, right there. Yeah, yeah. Guardians of Harmony started the change, really. And also, here is a, a commercial that they have for Nightmare, the Nightmare Knights little figures. Oh, oh hey, look, it's that thing that uh, hasn't existed in two seasons. I know, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Wasn't it banned? No, it got blown up. It got blown up it by blew, It got blown up real good, and its roots turned into a chandelier. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so who's interested in going to the My Little Pony musical? I would if it came to my hometown. Uh, that might be a little bit difficult because right now it's in Mexico and plan on going to Jakarta, Singapore, Manila, and Bangkok. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I don't think it's coming to your hometown. <laughs> Anytime. Well, well if, if it won't come to me, I will go to it. Yep. But My Dude, Little Pony musical really is Mexico? apparently going all over and all over the place. It's on tour. Yeah, like I said, Jakarta, Singapore, Manila, Bangkok. Yeah, so... If it's in the, if it's in the American part of in Mexico, yeah, then I'll go. All if right. not, then no. No, I'm not going there. Fuck that shit. <laughs> Alright, well, now we got the challenge of the week, which was Mind Controlled Ponies. Mike Nized and Toa Koi both um, posted one here. And since Toa Koi is here in the chat with us, we're going to go with Mike Nice first. <laughs> wow so Mike and I actually did a nice little mix up here with XCOM so an alien controlling a pony ah <laughs> uh, mind control mm -hmm. the game is horrible if you don't know that you're being controlled you lost <laughs> but yes XCOM fun and also and so Mike and I <laughs> has done a really good fun one I'm not, I haven't played too much XCOM, so I have no clue who that is back there. Oh, that's an elder. The fuckers. Okay, then. Well, there you go. Other than that, 
Oh, and Sergey, don't worry, he'll miss even if he has 100%. Yes. <laughs> yes. Which is and, still bullshit. Alright, and also we got Toakoi, who has <laughs> my, his own version of Mind Control. I almost look hey, like... I'm um, the mask of Mind Control there, thank you very much. I'll take your word for it, because it almost looks like you just have some sort of weird orange helmet, and I became King Sombra's orange cousin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm using, I believe, the Kanoe Kama. Uh, sorry. It's a bionicle mask that's known for someone being, you being able to push your will onto somebody else and mind control them. So basically, right. I'm making Second forget about his rough day and make him think, I am a again. I must have fun. <laughs> and it right. Also, in the mud it and I'm also... able to tell anybody why he was in the mud. He just woke up there. And it right. Also like you have a porn stash on. Right. <laughs> anyway, moving on. <laughs> but yeah. Okay, real fast. I still can't get over me in that little bat figure right there. Okay, moving on. <laughs> Okay, so those were the submissions that we got for the challenge of the week. Next week's challenge, ponies on a boat. Ponies on a boat. On a boat. I'm everybody, on a boat. Everybody <laughs> take a look at the boat. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, on the fan submissions and suggestions, really quick, Legends of Everfree has an official soundtrack on YouTube now. On their official yeah. MLP site. So if you want to get the full soundtrack of the Legends of Everfree Equestria Girls, it's all there in six different videos, apparently. Every day, all day. All the songs. 